One of the biggest myths surrounding nutrition is that you need meat for strength. You need meat for muscles. Well, I can tell you, this is simply not true. In fact, some of the world's top athletes, bodybuilders and strongmen are long-time plant eaters. Hi, I'm Ang Hui. I'm a national weightlifter and a national coach. And I represented Singapore in many international competitions. And I'm proud to say that I have brought home a few medals. And I'm also a long-time vegetarian. People are very surprised when they hear that. They will ask me, where do I get my protein from? And I will ask them, where do you think the animals get their protein? From plants, I said. Some of the biggest, most powerful land animals like gorillas, elephants and horses, they are plant eaters, they are herbivores. But how about humans? Are we carnivore or herbivores? Let's find out. Humans are much closer to herbivores. Our teeth, digestive system and enzymes are much closer to a herbivore. An example would be a lion, which is a carnivore, can produce vitamin C, while us humans cannot. And we do need a steady supply of plant and vegetables to prevent us from becoming vitamin C deficient. Early experiments in the 1920s by a Russian scientist show that rabbits rapidly develop atherosclerosis when they fed a high-fat, meat-based diet, while dogs do not develop these rapid changes when they're fed the same diet. For most of our human existence, we've thrived mainly on a plant-based diet. It's only within the last few generations that we've been able to afford meat on a daily basis. As a result, two out of three Singaporeans die from heart disease, stroke or cancer. What I'd like to stress is that we shouldn't wait. Even if we move to a plant-based diet one day a week, you'll be a right step in the right direction for all of us. But as healthy as a plant-based diet is, that is not the main reason why I give out meat. Some years ago, I watched a video showing the horrendous cruelty done on factory farm animals. I could barely watch it, but it was an eye-opener for me. I think the reality is that the majority of the meat in Singapore that is sold here, they come from factory farms. And that's one thing that a lot of Singaporeans don't realise, that these animals are housed there in conditions that are so appalling that it's really unimaginable. If you think about it, if we put the house dogs and cats like this, I think a lot of people will speak up for it. But I think the problem now is nobody realises that animals are housed like that. Where a lot of them, are, their tails are dog, their teeth are cut, um, they're sterilised without anaesthesia. I think there's a book, When Elephants Cry, that says more or less the same thing, that if, if we imagine these chickens, the pigs, the cows, they speak English, and you go to a farm and you hear all of them screaming, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, how many of us can continue eating meat? And I think that is the biggest problem now. The cruelty of factory farming goes on behind the scenes. The key also is something my mom taught me when I was very young, which is do unto others what you like others to do unto you. None of us, if you see what's happening to these animals at the factory farm, none of us would like to be treated in the same way. And it's ultimately up to us now to make sure the conditions change and make sure things start to improve. Health and kindness are two big reasons to cut out meat. But there's a third one, the environment. Scientists urge us to slash meat consumption to save the planet. Many people don't realise that meat equals heat. A significant portion of human-produced greenhouse gases comes from the raising of animals, mostly for food. And we have to, in turn, feed these animals so many kilograms of plant-based food in order to produce just one kilogram of meat. In this process, forests are destroyed and huge amounts of resources are wasted. Even if you skip meat just one day a week, you can still make a tremendous difference. You reduce carbon dioxide by 170 kilograms every year. This is equivalent to driving a car for a thousand kilometers. There's so many delicious and tasty plant-based food options out there that I don't think you're gonna miss out at all. Try a new dish, a new recipe, a new eatery, a new ingredient. Dare to be different and maybe try to get somebody to do it with you. It's just one day a week, so step outside the box, you may be pleasantly surprised. There are many reasons why millions of people around the world are reducing or giving out meat, be it for health, the environment or simply for the poor animals. We hope you too will join us. Thanks for watching. Now, I better get back to my workout.